Hey, welcome everybody to Battle Pirates Crib. Uh, we're going to talk about the new Gambit uh, target in the FM. Um, what you guys thought about the last raid and yada, yada, yada. And whatever you guys want to talk about. Uh, let's say hello to everybody. Uh, Derpy. Well, I'm shocked and odd that this raid's over, I'll tell you that. <laughs> you were expecting it to go for a couple more days? Yeah, something like that. I, uh, you know, could have used a few more tokens and stuff, but um, ran out of coins. So what are you gonna do? You out of coins? I don't believe. No, that. I still have, I still have six hundred ninety-two. <laughs> okay, already. And TSM, you out of coins? Not in the Hello. slightest. <laughs> okay, already. <laughs> I thought I was damned to gone to hell with the last couple of days of weather, but you know, apart from that. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, right, do you want to describe your outfit on Monday? My outfit on Monday was as little as possible. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. Well, I didn't think your swimsuit was to get any smaller, but whatever. Uh, <laughs> yeah, once you cross the pond, the swimsuits do get a little bit smaller. Um, but yeah, in case everybody was, uh, yeah, it was, it was about a hundred in uh, the UK. Uh, what on Monday and Sunday and Monday? Yeah, we don't even do eighty, by the way. All right. <laughs> <laughs> we start freaking out when it gets away and it went went well over that. But I was like, like well, 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 how many people have air conditionings in their air conditioning units in their house? Nobody, don't be daft. Okay. Well, okay. Well, you know, just... the air conditioning actually raises the average temperature of the world, second law, thermodynamics and all that, but I digress. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I when I lived in Jordan, we didn't have air conditioning either, and that was we were getting those temperatures. So uh even in the nice apartments, no AC. But, uh, all right, and um, Pegleg. You know, we actually did a bit of a gambit of our own. Uh, Seamus has got a cousin over in the States. Sent, him a, sent us a window air conditioner we put in the pub. Oh, my God, the extra traffic we gained by having a place that was a little bit cooler and a little less humid, it was miraculous. And it probably spiced up the uh, wet t-shirt contest, didn't it? Actually, we didn't have one of those. The ladies, the ladies were not really wearing the t-shirts because they were so hot. It was far more skimpy than that. Oh my goodness! So uh, to the delight of everyone, I assure you. <laughs> yes, it does sound like uh, quite the evening. Although TSM could have stopped by a g-string and really gotten them going. Now that would that would got the ladies excited. I could have just come home with my, my tassels and that'd been all good. <laughs> there we go. There we go. A little tassel twirling. Throw a few pints around, a couple shots of whiskey. It's going to be a glorious thing until the garter shows up, of course. Yeah. All righty. Well, let's move forward. All right. My question is, who is researching compound defensive systems and compound defensive platforms? Hey, I'm researching an enforcer to R4 right now, so you need to shush. All right. Well, speaking of needing to shush, uh, one more click. I don't know what that leads into. Oh my gosh! <laughs> <laughs> this was this was this is one of the ones. <laughs> no, no, no. How did you, you get know, that the, picture of me up there? <laughs> this is in Derpy's merch shop. This is one of the ones that's a little <laughs> bit more. Uh, this is the only one that was safe for work out of the uh, you know. Thought, is this thought a younger Derpy? Is this a yeah. adolescent version? <laughs> yeah. This well, is we the don't need a whole gender <laughs> argument either, but you know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, um, but yeah, the exposed teeth. Um, yeah, I thought we could. You don't like him? Here. No, 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 no. I mean, you know, compared ah, to some so of the other. Like him. Yeah, 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 yeah. I was. Uh, yeah, yeah. I mean, there's some more. There's some spicier Swing stuff on, her, on his. <laughs> on his, there's some spicier stuff on his merch page. This was just the only one I could show on YouTube for uh, you all getting a little sample of what's going on there in his merch page, along with the coffee mug, a uh, coffee mug. So. Uh, uh, you're moving forward in a good way. So uh, let's see what's going on. All right. We are in the Forsaken Mission. How do you unsee uh, something like that anyway? <laughs> <laughs> so we're in the uh, the beginning of a three-week Forsaken Mission. Uh, we have a new Gambit target, um, which we'll get into a little bit more. Uh, VX week, a VX new VX Gambit week. target. Don't go there. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Well, a well. Were we a, expecting yeah. this? Have we been telling you the last month this is going to happen? Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm surprised. Yeah, yeah Le Le Leo wants your link, uh, maybe for your OnlyFans site. I think it's on the OnlyFans site. Oh God. 
<laughs> yeah. So, uh, all right. Uh, VXP weekend's upcoming oh, for your Gambit. Hopefully that we get some uh, uh, Gambit target. Um, maybe I can just copy over the uh, the FM target and we can use that. Um, Race for Impact, which we have a slide on, as we predicted, this was for the Pangolin. Uh, and then we have Bounty uh, the following week, um, where God knows what we're getting. And then Blinding Flash, uh, this is for your flashbangs. Uh, eight build tokens, five upgrade tokens. You're also going to get another upgrade token if you just participate in pillage, more if you are an overachiever. Um, so, uh, and then the following week, yeah, we will have pillage and we'll get into a little bit more. Um, we will be required to use the gambit for our, the top targets in pillage as far as the garrison side. So, um, and I think that's on the next slide, unless anybody th has anything else on the calendar. No, I don't think so. All right, brace for impact. Um, this is for the pangolin. Um, originally, it was posted that the mastery prize was just prize pack three. You get quite a bit of armor and um, and um, build tokens because you're going to end up with seven build tokens for a pangolin. Mm -hmm. Um, and then you're going to end up with six of each of the tier 10 armors. Tier 11 has not been released yet. And, um, yeah, pangolins are unlimited. You can build 99 of them, um, if you so choose. Um, any thoughts about this? Well, they're, they're limited with no cap. Was that right? Yeah, 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 yeah. No, there's, yeah, there's no cap on them. Um, well, yeah. what uh, what style targets is this again? Uh, this is the um, MK2. MK2. Is yeah, yeah, MK2. So it's a solid. Good... That's the, the Ravager. Okay. Heavy heavy cruiser MK2. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. it's good. Good hull hull kill. Okay. All righty, and uh, I haven't tried this at all. Anybody out there tried it yet? I've. No, not yet. No. no. Okay. All right. It's worth doing though. I mean, six six armors for each one as well. That's that's really good. I think. Yeah, and if you're, you know, I'm building my third pangolin now, um, and with the new, uh, the new tactical module or whatever it's called uh, that you can throw on your, you know, any building that reduces damage, um, it's sort of making the badger less important to have. So I guess they're, they're pushing us towards the pangolin. Hmm. Just. Wish you had a bit more resistance. That'd, uh, that'd be my understanding. Yeah. I wonder if that, that means that there's finally a second defensive hull in the Pangolin tier level coming out finally and get us off That's of my Badgers and wondering. get us off not just Badgers, but the um, iron thing. Iron hide. Yeah. Iron hide. What do we think we're getting in the next bounty? Is it time for another defender here? Could be. Don't know. Could be. Yeah. Or was, probably uh, upgrades for the next thing, but I I'm still not done with Winterfang upgrades, so I digress. Well, I was still thinking. Well, well, I was thinking not bounty, but I was thinking more in. Well, maybe it's bounty. Yeah, maybe it's um, Helios upgrades to you one. That'd be the next hull. Or what's the other ship we have that I forgot the name of the sub that is like lionfish? So I don't like. Well, he it. turned up. That turned up last, didn't it? Gatekeeper. No, no, no. Infiltrates. Yeah. Infiltrates. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I'm, I prefer that the Defender stuff shows up in PvE, uh, but who knows what's yeah. going to show up. Well, you know, because it's a PvP ship, but whatever. Well, I, think, um, I think Bounty should be, yeah, if you're going to do anything, it'll be the PvP upgrades for the next next one that was released, which should be the Mort Chucker, So Yeah, Lego's done one run through. It was not fun. You swallow tails and MKs. Still hurt bad. If you co-op them, make sure you plan a strategy and whoever co-ops with you. So we will see. All right, let's move forward. All right, we're going to talk about the Gambit again. Um, they launch drones to draw enemy fire, periodically drop auras that boost the speed and efficiency. Again, it doesn't appear to be on depth. 
on 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 death it appears to be just whenever these are to be used by the gambit um and they add speed and damage to the gambit if they're in the field um and they increase countermeasure spots just so we can have more you know basically if we want to build a countermeasure uh dedicated ship all right um let's move on uh here is the timeline uh and pillage which is going to be two weeks from now we are going to get the limited blueprint weapon and armors um both i assume both of them are limited so make your own decisions as far as your current resources i'm assuming there will also be tokens at this point to fit these things on um and then in september we will get the flagship in the raid along with upgrades and then a new limited blueprint in october and then x1's in november so i don't yeah it seems like i don't know that's special dropping all the way until october that seems you know because we're still i mean because i i have no idea what that special is going to be i mean, mm. i think kb i'm guessing an engine that's been it for the last two hasn't it yeah that's what kb said um, yeah we're on a tier 10 engine aren't we at the moment yeah i agree with mr kb yeah, KB. yeah I, i'm thinking we need another mortar special because uh, we only seem to have oh, one. We got a lot of like, like splash ones and whatever. Well, just one that's more. We got related. a building damage one. Well, the K two is quite good, isn't it? Yeah, K two yeah. is that's just building and wall damage. I'm saying most well, yeah, of the, it's, it's it, m m it, most of the explosive it came out for the Everest. Yeah, most of the explosive specials that are out there are aimed at rockets. There's only like the there's only the one that seems to be aimed at the. Uh, I think we'll, we'll well ascension it. mortar, isn't it? I think it is. It's yeah, yeah, it's yeah, it's the only one. Yeah, but it's not that's like tier, tier nine six. as well. Tier nine, isn't it? I think it is. It's quite old, isn't it? So. But it's pretty good. So, um, and also as as far as everybody goes, the uh if you're running out of the uh engines, um melt down your free brutes and you'll have enough engines. So and uh, that gives you armor as well so yeah yeah i melted all mine down um okay if there's any nothing else in the gambit timeline i think we still got some more gambit slides let's see what's next all right um as we're talking about it's 23 days or 20 uh 21 hours plus five days three hours with my setup um pretty much so it's six days to build a complete gambit so it's, um, they're giving you time to get it, you know, get it done with what we've had available. So, and then, um, uh, we'll learn more, I guess, you know, once we hit the FM target. So one more click, uh, this is what I'm doing for VXP weekend. These are the ones I felt safe with, um, the K2, the, the, the engine, the K2, the Garrison MK, Garrison battery MK2X, and the, uh, the mortar special that we talked about before. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so, I uh, didn't really, yeah, I, I agree with, you know, I agree with those for your core specials. I'm not sure on Hyper 30, which you didn't put on there, so that's fine. Yeah, I put a, I put the Hyper 30 on my timing build. Because that's, you know, this is conservatively what I look at as a build. I'm just not, I'm not putting those specials on yet. Um, I'm just putting these four on. And um, all right, let's get more uh, current day. Let's see what's, all right. We have the 316, which is the um, the Gambit target. Um, there it says Garrison Halls, 215 points. Um, drops the Naka Gallon Gun. So we lost what the two fifteen, or what was the one we lost? Yeah, two fifteen. Yeah, it must be base level two fifteen. Yeah, because two two five is the next one that was. Uh, yeah, yeah, two one five. Yeah. Um, uh, what, what, uh, uh, Derpy, were you old enough to drink when sp sprints were uh, working? 
Uh, legally in the United yeah. States? Yeah, in the United States. I'd rather States. not answer that question. <laughs> okay. But probably not. Especially on, on recording. Okay. Yeah, I don't want I don't want someone to come after me for that. <laughs> okay. So uh yeah, I, it's been a while since sprints have worked. I tested sprints about twenty minutes ago, did nothing. Okay. So sprints don't work and they haven't worked since uh yeah. You didn't try tridents, did you? <laughs> or, no, if Prince didn't fire, they would not either. Yeah. Um, yeah. Or what, what was uh, Liam's favorite? Oh, yeah. Oh, God. Don't, don't subs, start like that. Just walk on water. What was that? Well, that was the um, multi form, multi. No, it was multi- before the multi form. It, it, it was a missile that also was a counter. What was it? Yeah, yeah um, but it was the one before the multi form. Hang on a minute. It was. I've got to think now. Geez, that's going back a while. Yeah, but it's the last time that it's sort of these. Uh, the only countermeasure that seems switch to work. Blades. Switch, switch blades. Switch blades. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Was, yeah. Switch blades. Switch blades. That's yeah, what yeah. I was thinking of. Which, which never did anything for him. Because <laughs> I remember that. It was funny how it was. <laughs> well, yeah, yeah, the only they thing stopped firing class... when they shut down stuff down. Whatever. That's about six years ago, that was. That was oh, that was ages. <laughs> no way. Yeah, it was. It feels like maybe two. No, mate. <laughs> stop, it's not playing any four years ago now. Yeah, I mean, the, old, only, the only thing that oh works as a countermeasure that's not a built-in countermeasure appears to be the comrades. The rest of them don't seem to work anymore. If they're classified as a yeah. countermeasure, as opposed to anti-missile or anti-explosive or whatever, or anti-pen, or, you know. So yeah. the rest of them don't seem to work. Um, so, um, all right, let's take a look at the 316. All right, I'm going to... It looks quite innocent. It's not. Yeah. Uh, two of these uh, icebreakers move. One seems to stay in the same place. Um, I'm Another assuming. One. I'm assuming the icebreakers are rockets, like they normally would. So the rockets. I, I think the mountain is your. Remember, we can shoot over mountains because we have mortars. Some of this stuff cannot, and I'm assuming that's. Uh, that the mortars, uh, I mean, that the rockets cannot. So I'm assuming well, that's they, they can cheat. And my, well, my question is, why can their rockets fire far further than our mortars? <laughs> that's the frustrating bit. I've um, already clocked that one. Well, the I high Mars, <laughs> never mind. Um, some rockets nowadays can fire a good long ways. You sound like a kickside apologist. No, I was I was making I was making reference to something else uh, with the high Mars, but uh, uh, yeah, we don't, we don't. I mean, what was the last time Garrison fleets moved? I I couldn't tell you. Oh no no no! It was the uh, actually it was the Praetorian. We had some ships that patrolled, went back and forth. Okay, so we had rockets. Because my fear is with our projectile speed and whatnot, that this and they're not bunched, so it's not like you can aim at the first one and kill the no, last one. No, they don't stack you. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, so I'd you want s- more ships in there, is what I'm hearing. Uh, or them to move slow, because they seem to be they Quite seem quick. to be moving in a decent clip. Doesn't help for right like, lobbing yeah. mortars on, um, does it? No, no, it doesn't. It doesn't appear that. Yeah. I mean, I didn't really, I didn't really engage the target. I just took a look at it when I was doing this. So, and we see some countermeasures. We see some rockets. We see some executioners. Um, we definitely see some mountains. So, um, I, I, <laughs> glaciers. They're, they're melting glaciers. You, oh, you, right. Uh, yeah, it's you, an you environmental the, target. <laughs> yeah, because you can see, you know, right around the the edge of the land, you can see where those glaciers are uh, in Greenland are just melting right into the uh, ocean. Hey, water. can we like buy Greenland from someone? Just just asking for a friend. <laughs> no, no, because Greenland is not actually owned by Denmark. Great Greenland is their own independent country, but they rely on Denmark quite a bit. But. Uh, You'd have to buy Denmark from, I mean, you'd have to buy Greenland from Greenland, not from Denmark. Well, so, we did it with like Congo, but whatever. We did it with Alaska. Well, I think you bought it with Alaska, didn't you? <laughs> yeah, we bought Alaska, but we bought it from the Russians. But we're, you know, now we'd be buying Greenland from Greenland. 
So, uh, yeah. Uh, ice fields? I don't... I, I think I hope not. I, I think they've we've got enough negative um, feedback on the ice fields that I don't think that's going to happen. Or they're going to put them in there and make you buy upgrades to be immune to them. <sighs> That'd be shitty. I, people were so anti ice fields. I don't see them. I mean, I, at the end of the day, people might be really anti mortar ships with moving ships at this point because you chase them down speed is, yeah yeah our projectile speed is like only 80. Yeah. so so um yeah I, I, eventually tsm is gonna you, you're gonna peak die and poke. die in the target <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> with no armor <laughs> and no reload <laughs> so you know everybody seemed to love watching um uh derpy die a lot on friday so hey um, i lost uh you know 10 fleets in that target <laughs> yep yep so uh <laughs> you know it's it seems our audience is a, is a big fan of uh watching that happen so uh let's see what else we have all right um you can get uh two each of those so the expectation for the next siege uh um, siege fleet is it takes two armor spots because otherwise it doesn't make sense. Um, uh, Derpy, do you, you want to bet me that it's a thrower? I'm uh, going cannon. Uh, type on there. Says, I'm, 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 I'm going ballistic. cannon. <laughs> I'm going cannon. cannon. I'm thinking like a ballistic, uh, ballistic um, torpedo. Okay. All right. So uh, slingshot. Yeah. That's what I reckon. Yeah. All right. Um, it's a new. It's a new weapon type. Yeah, it's a slingshot. Remember when they added like the UAVs? I think like the graphics did it better. This. I know it's only a piece of armor, but I like the graphics work better than normal. Yeah, I like the blue splotchy stuff. Yeah. Yeah. So you can only claim two of them, so it's five hundred and twenty-five k each, which is nearly a hundred percent increase in required claims per week from last time. Well, yeah. you're doing the total that you can only claim four. You can claim no, two I mean, of each. So you need you need so for the for the gas heavy gas blaster, right? Was that the last thing? Yeah, because you had to get four. You need you need you one get heavy four gas of the previous blaster. armors, and you, yeah, so well, just double no, the points. I'm going, the for, same I'm going for the for the gas blaster, not the armors. You need oh, right, one the gas heavy blaster gas blaster. Si yeah, five sixty. Yeah, five sixty or two armors, which is oh yeah yeah yeah, yeah. That, that is quite the way best. more. Yeah yeah yeah. Yeah, but the armors before that was closer to this, correct? They were two hundred and thirty previous armors. Okay, and you could claim how many? Four. Okay. So because there's so, only two, that's what they've done. It they double the double the double the amount you're going to go and get. So then, was the heavy gas blaster cheap? Yeah. Oh, for heavy I mean, weapon, re 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 relatively relative to the, to the inflation that we've been seeing. Why are eggs three dollars a dozen? They used to be ninety nine. Um, they used to be ninety nine cents, like eight nine months ago. But that's the uh, bird flu. But yeah. Um. All right. So it's uh, two each. Claim them. It's sort of a no brainer. Um. And w this is for ballistic survival. Um. You can claim two, and then the next slide is uh, the radioactive survival, the Y four R. Same thing, sort of what we expected. I'm not even looking back at the other ones because there's really no reason to to think about them too much. Um, and uh, TSM, do you want to uh, poke and prod and die? I will definitely die. I don't know about poke and prod, but die is one thing that's definitely going to happen. Okay. I, I had a little play earlier on. So do you reckon this is going to be uh, – sorry, do you reckon this is going to be a draconian – Ballistic hull, or do you think it's going to be? <laughs> it's it's draconian. Well, it says draconian. It says ballistic. So yeah, I would yeah, but just because the armor, just because the armor is, I mean, it doesn't necessarily. But yeah, I suppose the tech. Yeah, ballistic. I, yes. I must admit, I like ballistic holes, particularly yeah. cannon holes. Quite like them because it's it's pretty scripted, and, it, and you can they generally act how you think they're going to act. As in, there's less chance as long as they don't start doing bizarre pass throughs and that sort of stuff. It should be all right. Yeah, well, I, I I don't mind the Pierce and some of that stuff is fun. I think is that what you're talking about? You didn't like yeah, the yeah, piercing ranges and that sort of stuff. Yeah, 
Oh, we'll you see. didn't like it? Yeah, you know, I, uh, I sort of like it. I like some of that stuff where, you know, I, I like the big splash. I like the UAVs that chain a lot. Uh, you know, Pierce. Some, that's very American, can... yeah, that, don't you? Yeah, yeah. Well, I think... We uh, like the big splash. We like the big noise. and uh, Yeah, yeah. Yeah, well, because it's... Uh, otherwise, we've been playing this for like 11, 12 years. There's not really other ways they could really change the targets. No. That, 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 that we seem to like. <laughs> so, I still think uh, one of the best best ballistic holes was the Cannoneers. I thought they were great fun. I mean, that's going back quite well. Remember, tier four, was tier that the five. one that had that paywall behind it? <laughs> or was, was behind it? the paywall? You couldn't couldn't buy the weapon until. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Mm. And then they, and then that was the one where they really screwed up with a special. It was like, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah was, was that HVR? Yeah. That must have been high velocity around. Do you think? Uh, yeah, oh, well, oh, it might have been actually. Yeah, yeah, cause, yeah. Because you got, you paid. I forget how much it was, but you got Five like bucks, three twenty dollars. Yeah, I forget how, but you got like three times that amount in gold and everything that you needed, and they only left it open for like forty-five minutes after the show mm -hmm. was over. That's right. Yeah, that was. Uh, I I certainly didn't buy it, but you know. Okay, so uh, you. I bet I did. <laughs> I bet I did. Well, 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 if the timing was right, because it was like, I think they made it five hundred gold when it was supposed to be fifty. It was I, no, I got a funny fitting. We all complained about that because over the year we were asleep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, it was on during yeah because it was late at night because it happened like in the last ten or fifteen minutes of the show. This is back when like. Battle Pirates Professor was on and whatnot. Mm -hmm. And it happened like right at the end of the show. And it only lasted for like 30, 45 minutes. But yeah, it was. Uh... Yeah, Cannoneers. That's right back with the Punishers, right back at tier five. Wow. Yeah. That's going back some. Punishers, they were fun, weren't they? Quite yeah, they were the first really generalist hole. Yeah, cool. they were great fun. They were. And lasted yeah. a long time, didn't they? Anyway, but yes, right. Okay. okay boom. Let's, let's do something. <laughs> <laughs> You're probably right. No, there's no doubt about it. You are right. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But boomers, well, I get, do you guys have baby boomers? And uh, I'm assuming you do in the UK, right? Yeah, of course. What else? Were they killed them all off? <laughs> Where are you going here? Well, well, <laughs> except for I don't think there was any boomers in Russia or Germany because that was a whole different situation. Oh, they did kill them all off, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, all right, we're going to add you on. Right, this is not how to do the target. This is just go look at the target, all right? That's all we're doing. We're not saying we're going to actually achieve anything here. This is TSM's new record. He's going to set right here in front of us. Uh, so do you want to talk about holes first? I'm basically, so I've got, oh, I need to zoom that. You can't see that probably, can you, to be honest? Hang on, two seconds. Let me just do that. And I wish people would see what the hell I'm doing. Uh, we're going to refix. It's easier. Is that visible? Is that all right? Uh, so you're going to Hyper 30, Garrison, MK2X, K2. Uh, is that Defiled Reloader? Yeah, down the bottom, yeah. Okay, so you're going for all damage up here. Yeah, so these are, yeah. this is an all damage ship. So 30% extra explosive on that one there. And when you get on the armor on as well, we'll just, I mean, we know there's new new armor coming out later, but for the moment, that's all we can go with. So we'll just, we'll just, we'll just. This isn't the armor going to fit, but just to say that obviously with the extra boost in that puts you up to 150k. So just yeah, and, and you and you can make weight with this one. Yeah, yeah, I, I, and I might not be able to though when it comes to having the new armor because it might be heavier, and then obviously it might go overweight. But then again, that's a very very heavy special. We can play with that. I'm expecting more. I mean, I don't get too bothered with specials because we all know they're going to change anyway. Most of them will change. So. Well, 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 the the other the other thing that's curious with this is you might not be able to run full mortars possibly yeah yeah that's with, the concern uh, with, with, the, with the new armors so well without taking yeah i mean we'll see because i mean that makes a huge difference just taking off that one special and then the, yeah. I mean, th though there isn't much of a special as an option there's very little you can put in that slot then yeah um but anyway some other combination like the, do you remember last time we had to take off one special, and in fact, you had to get the new special and to take two specials off and put another one on. To, it was really frustrating. Yep, yeah, with our lion fish, um, which you know. Uh, yeah, that was right. Yeah, so so there's that's in the. I had loads of tokens. So I thought I was just doing a fifth ship. So that's a full power ship. That's a full power ship. That is a full power ship. 
So that's the two wingmen. There's the flagship, basically, or notional flagship. And then this one here is uh, anti-mort hull. Okay. Um, dedicated, but it's still got two, obviously, uh, mortars on it as well. So it's got six scales. Okay. And All sitting at the same, same combat speed, or 100, 100. Okay. And then the last one. Uh, All MPS threes. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So, basically, uh, I like that. Not okay. going to help me because I'm still going to die. But you know, because no rank and no armor. It's not Whoa, really wait, wait. that attitude. But <laughs> <laughs> defeat is before I started. You mean? <laughs> the armor is actually not that bad to put on. I mean, it's like half a day, isn't it? No, it's the fact that I haven't got any rank, which means my mortar's just going. Stop. Well, and his counters are his counters. And the counters aren't just... firing fast enough either, and well, especially the, is... the gales are going to be the problem. The MDS threes, yeah. I think you're going to be fine with, but the gales they keep on firing based on the reload speed at the at the incoming projectiles. So, well, the I think the mortars speed. are going to own you more than. Yeah, don't take anything away from this. That you know, the mortars aren't the mortars are the real source of damage because he's not at. Uh, uh, oh yeah, you put her on oh, a crew too. This is this is well, real. I want, I want to be able to turn, so I'm just going to put a sea serpents on just so I can turn. I'm not worried about the evade it gives you. Otherwise, these things are like slugs, and I, and I won't be able to turn and move. move. So that's the only reason I'm going to put a crew on. Otherwise, I wouldn't have bothered. All right. I mean, yeah, you can go for building damage and that sort of stuff. But right, okay. Uh, I'm not going to go in that one because I've already died in it once. <laughs> All right. So uh, you know, um, you know, anybody under. Uh, Anybody whose children are watching or is under 13 years old should turn off the YouTube or, or, send, your children, or send, your, send your children out of the room because I think there's going to be some carnage occurring. So uh, Definitely. If I complete the target, I'll be stunned because I couldn't do it earlier on. <laughs> 12 and a half hours fixed. So you're going to get one shot at this and that's it. Okay. So you can decide which uh, entry point, which is great news. Oh, God, I don't like that. Uh, there is, particularly when you come in at three o'clock, that's not funny at all because you're virtually on top of that. All over there. Right, let's close this down. We'll zoom in and have a little look. So these ones here, which look like rockets, don't they? Yeah. Uh, they have, you can outrange those. So you can go straight in. Um, can you outrange them on there. auto? Oh, I'm guessing I'm not. Taking, not. That, I'm not taking that risk. I'm guessing no. I'm, Let's have a look at how far out I well, am. Well, it, it's a for, yeah, yeah. yeah, you probably can. I wonder why they're flagged with the white mark that some of the other turrets aren't. Just to show you they do massive damage. I mean, but I mean, it's not a directional turret. It's not a heavy turret in any way that makes any sense. But... No, they so like anyways, breaking the rules, and a bunch yeah, of heavy so turrets don't have those anymore. That's outrangeable. And obviously, they're going off because I haven't picked a turret to select so let me just click on this one here then they, they say they, they move now straight away because i selected that one so this will be interesting so you've got uh, an execution behind and then you've got the rocket at the front so let's just take a look and see the execution while you can't see the range it's about 220 i reckon and it's going to fire up and you shut them all down that's your drones that's good that's 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 really surprising no you shut them all down i don't, I don't think yeah. yeah shut them all down yeah all right Oh no, they're One, targeting two you. Got yeah, through, you're right. Two got through now. Those are all shot you're down. You're still shooting down on the vast majority. Yeah, so the majority although Yeah, I mean you've got you've got two MDS threes there. They each have ten projectiles. They can deal with twenty incoming missiles at once before they have to reload. I'm guessing you have two, but Well I've got six, haven't I? Six on this on You got six MDS threes? On that countermeasure ship, yeah. Yeah, yeah. You need to deal with. You, you think you need to deal with sixty force. incoming projectiles in two seconds? Yeah, yeah. I'm just going for the law of averages. If I miss once, I'll try it again. That's, that's not how. That's not how they work. It's, it's a bit yeah, like that the how it works for the MDS threes. Gale fours work that way. Gale fours do. Yeah. Right. Anyway, uh, let's move on. Let's come up here. So here's here's, here's a better example because here's obviously uh, an executioner. So let's just have a look, look at all the there. rocket turrets. There's a lot. Yeah, that's a lot. But I'm not worried about the rocket turrets. It's not those that concern me, and that's not what was killing me. So here he goes. He goes far again. So and that was targeting your drones, then, wasn't it? Yeah, well, which you should do. I, th I mean, that's the whole purpose of the drones. Yeah, I figured it would have King Killer on it and target your ships when you. Well, there we go. Okay, now, now, yeah, now he's does. targeting. Now it's targeting him. 
he he just went into range. One got in then. Yeah. But if you time the volley right and you have it fire at the drones, and then as soon as it yeah. as soon as it fires, start moving. Oh, that's not too bad at all. No, it could be a lot worse, couldn't it? I'm curious when he gets to the. Uh, but the middle, the middle is not fun. I can promise you. Right. So now again, we've got this issue here. Look. So this isn't too bad again. So we'll just target this one. What's that other guy on there? These are, like these, these are rockets. rockets. These are. I got the countermeasure. It seems to be trying to shoot oh, down. Oh yeah, the one, yeah. I think oh the yeah. Middle a, a count, sorry, the middle one's a countermeasure. Yeah, it is. Oh, it's also firing rockets. Blue. I swear it was firing. A light, the light bluish one. Well, I think it was just an overlap from the two. I think it was. About the same on the other side. So yeah, you can see these two ships. Look, they do overlap here. And I did try to hit them at one stage, but it was really, really painful. Right. So these are the. That was the normal execution. This is the dead. What's the new the new event? Jedi executioner? Yeah. Nothing you can do about these things. They just target you and keep slamming you. They're horrible. Can't, they go, can't they go take over anything down. They go over mountains and they do. And they absolutely just annihilate you. They don't aim for the drones as soon as you get in range and you can't counter them no matter how many MDS3s you've got. But we've got some... like there's no way to like splash them out. I was going to say, if you, had, by... if you had a build that was a little more splash centric, maybe you could target other stuff and splash it out, but I know your build isn't set well, up. There's quite, there's, quite there's quite a distance. There's quite a distance between there and there though, isn't there? And then yeah. in here it gets I've even more complex. Is there, there on my build, so I don't know if I'll be bloody everywhere. Do you reckon you'd be able to splash yeah, that to that? Because that'll die really fast. I'm thinking. I don't know. I don't yeah maybe well, well, uh, well uh, now 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 we're seeing the, the pawn auras where you get the extra combat yes. for you to yeah. explosive damage. That's what the big green orbs and, and it are. is random. They seem to be just turning up as and when they see it. Yeah, like so it's not when they die. It's just sort of when they feel like it, right? So that counters then? So so, wait, wait. wait. Why do they have countermeasures in here that shoot at mortars if we have a mortar ship? Anyone want to tell me that? Um, Maybe you can counter it with... Maybe the, the next weapon is going to have a countermeasure of eight. Or we should put the ascension on that that front special. Like we were talking so I'll target. About. I'm going to target this. Watch what happens now when I pull by. Right. So you think they'd be targeting that? Nope. No, it's nope, not you. And it didn't even die. I mean. No, but I mean I haven't got much reload either. I've got three ships here on full power, so. Anyway, and now those green rings give you combat speed and what else? Damage. Well, explosive, da explosive damage. Yeah. Yeah. Thirty. Is it twenty percent or thirty? Twenty percent, wasn't it? Twenty. Whoa, 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 it's some waters. Well, it's one's thirty percent. I think it's thirty percent that or it's twenty percent they drop and thirty percent damage increase or vice versa. So I'm going to try and see if we can show the more anti mortar working because this mortar here has got quite to range. It sort of lasts up to here. So. Where is that mortar? It's here, like, in the center island. Uh, okay, it's the white colored one. All right. Yeah, that's really hard. This one down here in the center. Wow, well, yeah, well, I never had a chance. Well, there you're taking go. that one down pretty well. See, look, there's some rock. Oh, those are from the icebreaker. Yeah, those are really long rockets on that icebreaker. Yeah, so the mortar's not too bad. So that's how many gales seems to be working. So long as you don't. You got how many on there again? Uh, six. So long as you don't obviously get the overlap between these both firing, you'd probably be all right. So, but this is this bit gets really messy now coming well, in. Well, it, it, it would get much better once you get sculled because yes. you're going to have um 400% reload bonus once you get sculled. So, we'll go, we'll go and do this again because I think that was a bit more interesting than I won't survive the middle because I thought it was doing really well last time because I thought, oh, look, not much damage, and then I got absolutely mullered. But yet again, outranging this, outranging this. You'll see there's another cat and measure there and there. Uh oh. Well, your drone's got hung up on land there. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, but I'm outranging anyway. So apart from the mortar, which is still firing up from that well, distance there, that mortar. If it wasn't killing it. those drones there, they'd be stuck for the rest of the battle and you'd be out of luck. <clears throat> They're off. Yeah, 
you know, once they start, even though I've targeted that there because they've already started their little path, they don't turn around and go back to where you want them to go. They've got to wait till they die and then they change. So that's something that's worth thinking about as well. Those mountains block splash. Yep. Mm, looks like they. Yeah. Yeah, they yeah. do. It's hard to tell, yeah. but it looks like it. Yeah, they're block and splash because that one right behind is not. Nothing's happening with that one. Oh, yeah, I thought I got it in there. So All it's right. just the amount of cameras. I mean, I've gone over the top of cameras at the moment. I just, and are they, ships together. are those things prioritizing ship one there, or ship four, or what? Uh, oh, look. Mm, looks one, like two, three, four. No, well, it's, it's probably even, to be honest. A little, a little bit more damage on one. Mildly, yeah. 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 Obviously, yeah, explosive wouldn't. I don't think the explosive is hitting yet. We'll, we'll see that at the end when I die. That's about to happen. So. I don't know. You still at ninety-five percent health. Yeah, the middle's not so nice when those um when you start facing lots of these, it's, it's awful. I always like one counter ship. But that's just me. Yeah, it's a good question. I don't know, to be honest. And only because I had the tokens, I built, I built a fifth ship. Otherwise, I was going for a combination countermeasure ship, which would have been probably, yeah, five Gales, probably, and two MDSs, and then one. Yeah, that's what I go it. for. Yeah. I was just messing around with that. a few tokens. I thought, right, I'll just chuck an MDS ship together. Oh, that mortar looks like from that enemy. Looks like it might have got close to you. I couldn't quite tell. It's difficult to tell. It's yeah, firing. I wish these projectiles here had more. Um, wish we had two different or three colors. Projectiles different per shot. Yeah. So it's it, so different definitely colors. six six Gale fours is definitely taking down enough from a single mortar, even without having no rank and stuff like you know. Huh. Frank said you'll see a nice big, big ramp on your feet. When you're... I wish. I wish. Well, I, I don't. Okay, you haven't seen this before. I was wondering if they somehow mix something up and. Oh, I see what you mean. Yeah. Right. So, should we? So, we have a look at one of these. Yeah, I, I'm curious to see. Well, so what's I, the range? I, I, now, watch. Here you go. He's already. Is, is there a way to hit them behind the mountains? Well, we can try, but I don't think. I'll give it. I'll, I'll give it a go yeah. here. And see if I... Doesn't look like they go close. Ah, uh, if you go above that uh, one mountain on the left by itself, there you see that guy. Oh, I could go here. I think, yeah. Yeah, that would get. That would get it. Because it seems to turn too here, close to that. Oh, he's he's already turned. So I need to go up here. Oh yeah, for he, that he one. heard me say that. Yeah, I'm yeah. gonna go up here, aren't I? Oh no, yeah, here-ish. Just don't go close to the missile. <laughs> or you can kill the right side there. I don't know. Here's where. It isn't so much fun now. There's one there. There's another one there. Yeah, that turret tur platform has two. Another one there. You guys on there. And you've been in this target for a while. Y yeah, I mean, without the rank and stuff, it just takes that much longer to do it. Yeah, so he's already firing. Look now, already. I mean, I'm not in his range, so that's also the question: is how. No, I was thinking as well I'm because they're all coming out together. It. Is it is it better to have these coming in and then stopping them like? Like bringing them in, you know, one, two, three, four, five, and then do it in that way, and then target and say a turret. So when they stop, they'll go right. I'm going, then I'm going, then I'm going, I'm going. Rather than because if they've got area effect damage, they're going to take all the drones out. Do, so yeah. like now they're all. Well, is that a better for plan? The first guy. I'd I'd, tar I'd target the missile. Yeah, yeah. I think these are the most important things to kill off first. Is these these uh, missiles? Everything else, you've outrange or you seem to be able to count. Okay, that icebreaker on the left there is shooting. Not quite. You're shooting. Uh, me there we go. Looks like it might be at you. Right, so now I've got to go around and get this one. And we are, of course, assuming the sprints won't counter the rockets because sprints uh, don't the, ever I, seem to I, counter. I, I did try earlier on. I couldn't get one to do anything at all. Okay.
Yeah, see, I don't think that's the best way. I think maybe you stop them all in a, t- in a, in a well, staggered form. One volley, it's going to be targeting you anyway, right? Go around here. But you're right. I want to see in a minute um, one of those um, ships and see if I can wedge. I'm definitely shooting down all those mortars. And that's with a relatively low projectile speed on that more on that anti ship, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Yeah. You don't have all your specials booting boosting that, do you? Nope. Nope. This was just really in case I throw it all together and let's just see. Yeah, I don't know if you can get to reach. Doesn't look like it. More to point than far over the mountains. Oh, I am close. I am. Uh, oh, yeah, look at that. Point. Look at that. You say just, just the, the turn tip. point. <laughs> just the tip. Tip. <laughs> so no you more is getting through. Wait there for, for five minutes until he comes back around. So I might have too you many. You can also just retreat, come back in. Might have too many Gale Falls. I don't know. So based well, off that, then um, there's nothing in. Oh, there's one. I don't know what the interface. So I might be able to actually because you've got no choice. There's nothing to fire behind unless he triggers and starts moving. This one. Let's have a little look. Yeah, there's I, that guy doesn't feel like he starts moving. It could be wrong. Look, he's already firing at me now. Look. Well, you got a minute. We're not exactly rushing, but. And you're building. Damage doesn't work against it, so it's got pretty high nah. up. I mean, obviously, I need reload. It would be a lot less painful if I had reload. You killed that. You splashed out that mortar before you killed the ship. Yeah, my ships have already now. Look at the look at the damage. Oh on God! The ships. <laughs> Where'd your health go? Yeah, exactly. The the rockets on those ships are horrendous. So maybe yeah, combat just... speed here is more important than I thought. Yeah, but it's it's um, you can't outrun it. I've tried that as well. Oh, he's coming back again. Yeah, because you had what a hundred combat speed, hundred combat speed, hundred turn. What happened? I, I went to get a beer. Did Derpy start driving? No, I told him it's, the, it's, it's these things, mate. They they outrange you, and also they are nasty. Yeah, that's not that wasn't very clever. All right, there you go. Timed out, look. But penetrative is nearly everything. Obviously, it doesn't until you start hitting the ships, because I exited last time before we started the show. I wasn't hardly getting any explosive whatsoever. The second you go near those ships, they're nasty as anything. Hmm. And there's they outrange you. You can't see the countermeasure measure anything what? from them, and you can't drive. It seems like I'm sorry, go ahead, uh, um, Peg Lake. Uh, I did hear, I forget who it was from, that the drones are being counted in that battle report and oh, so that really? that might that might be giving a false impression on well, the percentages really on the damages we don't want that yeah so yeah, i don't know if well. they're gonna fix or not or what that doesn't help us at all i mean that that happened with the zealots we think too so yeah yeah just 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 stop and then retreat after or you're gonna need to keep moving because they're gonna keep launching just stop stay out of range See if this is happening. Well, they're 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 they're, they're getting caught. Well, they're they I mean, strategically for this target to work, there needs to be a way to get behind those mountains. Yeah, right. Well, he can't fire the mountains without a doubt, definitely. Well, that, that yeah, left yeah, one yeah. there. How about that that left one? I'm at two seconds. I'm... Yeah, that Got corner. It. He's right by right now, maybe. Yeah, yeah. I reckon I could get him from here. Then he if, might also coming up here. He might be able to get me as well. That's the thing. Okay, so you haven't gotten hit by anything yet, right? Your your no. main ships. All right, um, just keep moving and then retreat. Yeah, because that's the issue. Because if you if you stop, yeah, and then yeah, keep killing yeah. the drones, you can never get out the target. Just just use waypoints, go back and forth until it times out, and then retreat. And and, um, and let's see what the damage result is. Yeah. Yeah, the battle report shows. But strategically. With the high damage from the icebreakers, the 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 fact that they outrange you, the only way this makes it fun gameplay is if there is a a way to get behind the mountains and snipe them out with 
you being able to go over the mountains and them not. Otherwise, it's just stupid, right? I must admit, I didn't look to see. Can we put the explosive? No, there's no explosive ranges there because that's only on PvP. You can't use it can you, on PvE. Shit. Yeah, it's so, only conquerors. Yeah, because that would help. But obviously, we don't have that ability. Yeah. Unlike throwers, we can have extenders. I don't think there's any PvE. All right, extenders. you can bail. Yeah, you can retreat. So you haven't taken any damage on nope. your main sh on your gambits. It's all. Well, there's your answer. Yeah. Yeah. So the and the fact that it's a hundred percent, there's nothing resisted. So yeah, it's being reflected. It's being that's reflected. freaking annoying. That is. That's yeah, they, they need to fix that because it's not really. It, it's not helping you because most of the time people use that is how to guide their builds and how to, uh, you know. See if you can pick him off in that corner. I was going to try and just see if we just get in here and then. So can you target him so the drones go in, or are they just going to sit in there and just be dumb? They are going to sit in there and be dumb, aren't they? Watch out. Okay, you got mortars coming in. So mortars are going to hit you from that. Uh... Well, I'm not bothered about the mortars, to be honest. Yeah, yeah, because you're stopping the mortars. The missile's going to get you, too. Yeah, so you need to go in there and clear that out while they are circling, like when, when they leave that naked. Just hug that wall. Hug the top, top face of that wall. Yeah, there we go. Perfect. I just wait four minutes for him to circle back, and you can do it again. Yeah, their health is too high. They, they should be able to be taken out in a couple volleys if this is yeah. the, if this is the situation. I mean, we'll know a bit better on Friday show because we'll, we'll be XP'd and I'll have the armor on by then. I've still got about four, five days of build tokens left. I think something like that. With the uh, current FM or no? Or are you talking uh, about the Gambit build tokens? Uh, yeah, I had I got ten gambit build tokens, uh, and I've still got and I saved all the last two weeks worth of FM tokens. So I've still got a two day and a one day, I think it is, and then I haven't done this FM, this week's FM yet. Okay, yeah, I think I have two one days, and I got yeah five built. Some have some have armor though. I don't have all the specials on it though. I mean, so am I supposed to have right? nine days of gambit build tokens? Ten. Two well, Where's that tenth one? Well, you got five for free, and then you got five in the raid. And there was five in the raid, wasn't there? Why well, somehow yeah. we got nine? Didn't claim it. Or he spent. I, I swear I did. Anyway, so I'm happy with the number of definitely Gale fours. Anyway, so that's something we do know. Well, except, happy that... except for the fact that once you get, once you get, oh, that got through. That got through. Yeah, but I'm, once I'm you mothered. get scald. You won't need it. I'm more many. worried about his anti mortar um, projectile speed than its reload. But well, he, how how because he's got the ascension mortar system with which adds ninety. The the engine adds what thirty or fifty? You thought? Well, let's just yeah, go with fifty. Fifty, and and he's also running hyper thirty. So he's got no, I mean, I, I don't think the hyper is helping at all. So we could try and find some more cat measure reload, you know, or some projectile speed. I mean, there are a couple of options. So I don't, even, I, but I don't think being going faster is going to help you. You can't seem to outrun anything. So I don't think hyper 30 is doing any benefit whatsoever. I think you may just have slower ships, to be honest. All right, let's go back into base and, and just double check some. Well, we can fucking do it from here, can't we? Oh, no, you can't read that, can you? It's too small. How do they still have health on them? They shouldn't have done. They all died. Oh, yeah, so I just saw yeah they have. They've all died, yeah. Okay. Well, that's about the best you can get. So, oh, not that ship. We're more interested in this one. So, yeah, so we've got already um, any more range, but there's no, yeah, you're right. I see what you mean. Though. There's no um, projectile speed, is there? Yeah, so you're oh, oh, that's one of the things that you probably need to add is take a look at the ascension mortar system as it compares to the um subaquatic. Mm, yeah, you're probably right. Yeah, because there you got mortar reload 50 percent, 90 percent projectile speed, 90 percent is a huge, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, so that's going to help your CMs as well as your. So, what does that uh, subaquatic give you? Uh, uh, yeah. 
That's, mm -hmm. the, that's the one you're running on your uh, countermeasure reload and speed to smaller. Yeah, it, should, it should be fifty percent and projectile speed twenty percent. This, so this is just, not this is not helping you because these aren't countermeasures. These are no. anti. These are anti. Uh, uh, so projectile anti, speed. Anti anti explosive. Explosive. Yeah, I'm sorry. Go ahead. No, sorry. So there's a couple of this. What's the ballistic one that's really good for um, projectile high velocity speed? rounds? Hundred percent, isn't it, or something? Yep, high velocity rounds. Just, but yeah, the essential mortar is, yeah, that that subaquatic's not helping you. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Go low, go low, go down. There it is. You you, you go. It's right in the top row there. There you go. Slide over. Yeah, one hundred and ten percent. Yeah. Heavy though. No, sorry, I, I thought it was no, 15. no, it's 15, 15. fifteen. Yeah, no. fifteen. So I think that's probably even better. Old eyes. So I'm thinking, yeah, I think yeah. probably one countermeasure ship is probably being enough, to be honest. I think we can go back with probably, yeah, five, probably four, four gales, five gales, something like that, two MDS-3s, and then put a mortar on it. And then don't worry about it. the mortars. are just there to help you stack and then just smash out. Yeah, yeah, because I'm wondering if you had the Ascension, even the Ascension mortars, we add 90 and you're because you're not you're gaining less with that uh what do you want to call it the uh subaquatic propellant or whatever yeah it's, it's not serving any purpose i mean i think i just stuck it on just for both I don't know, did i put it on this one as well no i didn't yeah i did yeah on the md3 ship yeah the projectile yeah that's not i mean it's, it's not enough it's yeah I mean, you could get 90 or 110. And also, you know, contribute to either building dam, you know, if you have any, you know, anything that is damage dealing involved. But then again, I'm not worried about that because I think I'm going to take one of these off there, like saying, put four on a probably four gales and two MGS3s is probably enough, to be honest. Once I've got rank up, what no tool? Tall VXP weekend. I don't know to be honest, but yeah, well, seems like I, have, I can have a full damage ship, which will also help as well kill things quicker. So, yep. and I'm be already. I'm interested to see whether the flagship's going to be a countermeasure ship or whether it'll be a a damage booster ship. I don't know or nothing. I don't know. Anyway. So that's not. I mean, I've, so I've not, not done any video or anything because then this isn't a final idea. This is just me messing about. Um, yeah. And it's not it's not the solution. It isn't by any way stretch of imagination. So but anyway, at least we've seen the target. We see seen what we can outrange and what we can knock down and what we can't. And how done the drones are. Yeah, I'm still curious about the it seems like the icebreakers are uh, I don't know, it feels like they need to be adjusted in some way. They're Either pretty they're tough, aren't they? It feels like they kicks I forgot that they're that our, our building damage doesn't work against them and gave them the same health numbers that turrets. So now they're survived two or three times as long. I think the most annoying one is that one down the bottom and center, you know, because you can't hide behind anything to go and get it. And to go and get it, you've got guaranteed damage. Because, I mean, their rockets outrange your. Yeah, waters. if they could move, that would be better. <clears throat> I thought you might be a trigger, but you can't. Okay, Frank is, keeps on pushing this. I, 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 I missed it. How much did you. How much VXP did you get? Well, hang on, mate. I've got a shitload. Well, yeah, you got a shitload of VXP. So, okay. What? <laughs> yeah, there's strategy guides out. Okay. Ooh. Right. We'll be fixed in the morning. Well, I, I thanks, Frank. That was a very good point. And I should have done it a minute ago. <laughs> I could have been ranked. I could have, we could have messed around and done a bit. Could have put the armor on straight. Wait, wait, wait. You could have ranked up? Oh. Yeah. Yeah, he's, he's, wait, he's ranked. Wait, wait, wait. Wait. The Wait, FM what? targets are giving out a ton of VXP. Yeah, basically. Yeah. Let me go hit that before brought, they fix which, it. Which I brought up earlier. Yeah. Right. Don't sit. Don't sit it. Yeah, I'm already at elite five already. Look. Yeah, 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 yeah. Wait, I thought you were trolling me. No. Fuck a gen. I didn't even clock that. Did you coin it when I wasn't looking? Okay. Oh, so there I you go. That... As a bonus, there you go. Yeah, yeah. So I guess this is in the uh, for this um, week only. 
Okay. Uh, nice. Okay, I'm gonna go to you, Derpy. You're sharing this, the strategy guide. Yeah, this is the uh, strategy guide, hot off the presses. I have not read it yet, so uh, we're gonna okay. find the typos live. Um, I mean, what typos? Um, <laughs> we're hitting Peter, Templar's uh, house. Well, well, Peter wrote this one, so it's uh, yeah. It's okay. So uh, the, 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 leveraging. Try, 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 to, try, try to zoom in a little bit so we can. Uh, Go to uh, you know, Sato something something. That's better. Yeah, that's better. That's Garrison good. Hole Gambit. Uh, it has a rock or a rook. Lays down long range barrage barrage, but we don't outrange them. So whatever. Okay, let's get into the good stuff. Mountains. I'm ranking the ships. There yeah. are mountains in the target. Yes. There are mountains. Yes, there are definitely mountains. Yes, there are. <laughs> are you sure? <laughs> uh, that sentence is written twice. So let's not be picky. Well, they're emphasizing the fact that there's mountains. Right. Right? <laughs> Gale and MDS-3 are effective for any gambit targets reducing incoming mortars and missiles. It does not say eliminating. Sprints don't fire, according to this. I would rather they say that explicitly, but whatever. Using they the don't. pawns. Want well, anything else on the countermeasures? No. Nah. Okay. Uh, drones. Pawns. Uh, they have a thirty percent chance to drop a combat boost aura, giving the giving the uh, gambit twenty percent combat speed and explosive damage. And does this happen? Rise it spawns in, or when does it happen? It's, I don't know. It doesn't. It doesn't happen on death. Um, so when when does it does it happen every every second? Does it have a twenty percent chance every second? I mean, I. That can't be right. Mm, I, no, no. I, I, I don't change know. the subject. I've just gone into. I've just gone into one target. I've killed that bottom first turret, and I'm going to exit, and I'm going to go back into base and see how much VXP it gives you, just by doing that one turret where you get no damage because you can't range it. Okay. Keep going, Derpy. Anyway, to use these pawns, stop moving, and they spawn. You can also click an enemy to target it or shift click whatever before the drones spawn and the drones move to that enemy we saw tsm doing a lot of that when mm -hmm. the enemy that is targeted dies or if no target is selected when a beep is deployed the beep will move to the closest enemy um i think it's supposed to say pawn <laughs> yeah i don't know why he's editing that whoa i don't know why he's cussing i, I think there's i don't, <laughs> I don't, I don't know what, i don't know what, <laughs> what something's going wrong here Keep in mind, uh, enemies will target the gambit over the drones if it's in range. So there must be target. It might not be king killer specifically. Um, it might be that priority little thing they used to have with that um, basilisk, or whatever else. But uh, I, but why is he why is he doing that? An example of a drop combat boosting aura from a beep from a mofo. So it looks like it happens on spawn and off center. An example of a dropped combat boosting. No, there is no combat boosting aura right here. This should say no, no combat no, boosting aura. No combat. combat. Yeah. Right. Beep. Stop being pedantic. Let's just get on with it. <laughs> An example of there's no com. So the top one is the bottom one is none. So green ring here, no green ring there. We got on that one. Anyway. Yep. Oh, this is new. Hundred one thousand k. By the way. One hundred one k for what? 100, 101,000 VXP points I just got. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Taking out one Executioner turret. Executioner 2, missile, medium health, medium damage, penetrative, accuracy, medium. So evade looks like it works. Um, yeah. I would like them to say dumb fire no here as well. It, in no countermeasure, that's not true. Oh, that is true. No countermeasures work against this thing. Correct. Yeah. Um, oh, accuracy medium means that dumb fire is no. That's not entirely true. No, it's true. It's, oh, is it not true? It, it is possible in the game. We've never had it, but it's possible to have a dumb fire accuracy based weapon. No, it's never but, happened before, so we're not getting into that. So accuracy okay. medium. Executioner. Same thing as before, except it has longer range. Is that true? Yeah. I think it's the and longest range thing. Well, I think the, the longest range thing, actually. 
I think the more the launch I wish range. this thing said counter vulnerability anti-missile. Or anti-penetrating. You're, you're expecting too much. This damage type countermeasures such as sprints will not fire against this, but this doesn't tell you that. So whatever. But they don't. I guess they tell it to you up, up at the top here. Um, over here. Um, missile defense. Defense missile. That's a rocket. Mm -hmm. So why is it a defense missile if it's a rocket? And it's got uh, no splash. Is it? Is it? We didn't actually see it fire. It does look like a vulture missile to me. Well, you can Maybe outrange it. So. Well, I don't know what it is because then they, you can outrange it. So it seems it like the wrong like picture because that picture shows up twice now, doesn't it? Because there's a defense missile no. and a defense rocket, right? This is the defense rocket. Yeah. Um, okay. okay. So yeah, it's a missile. missile. Yeah, it's got missile pods, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. yeah okay. So it's a defense missile. Uh, countermeasure, it's a bombard, it shoots down your mortars and UAVs if you try and use swallowtails. So, whatever. Extremely okay, just long range. Out, just take out two turrets, by the way. I'm now ranked. Ha, sweet. Explosive turret, D99S, rocket, medium range, blocked by mountains. Um, high splash. So, there we go. Okay. And Range? Where's the range? Medium? Does that Medium. what does, does that mean? Medium means you can't uh, snipe it. S okay. Short means you can snipe it. Okay. Defense mortar, extremely long range, um, explosive, vulnerable to gales. Massively, yeah. <sighs> Icebreaker, rocket, high health. High damage, explosive, high. No counter, no counter measures. Mm -hmm. Splash and spread. That's interesting. Pain in the ass, those things are. They're too strong. Yeah. Maybe stationary will follow fixed patrol route. Okay, that's... Well, Mount is a clue with that thing, isn't it? And we have buildings in the target, too, if anyone didn't know. And we have Which glaciers. Yeah, they're melting away and causing all that, you know. Well, black ice causes... Uh... All right, so we only saw... The only thing that has high health, if I read through this correctly, is the icebreaker. Everything else high. is medium. The most annoying thing ever. Health. Well, well defense mortar is high. No, yeah, no, no. I, health, I don't believe that, that... Yeah, defense mortar, high health. Uh, okay, defense mortar, which... Okay. Because we have those two that are at high health. I don't. I don't believe that the defense mortar is different health than it didn't. I didn't notice it having more health than the rest of the things in the target. But I don't know. I didn't get that far to try and kill him. No, you <laughs> killed a few, didn't you? Ah. Well, a couple. Yeah. Oh well. Not... So right. what are we learning from this? Uh, MDS three and Gales work. Other things don't. And the icebreakers are awful. Yeah, and you can't you, the, the uh, executioner too can't be countermeasured at all. But they could be fixed. Wait, I think I think the icebreakers could be fixed if you can. Uh, they can dumb down the resistances and just bring. Well, or change quicker. the path. Change the path. I think is the most. Yeah, that do it. Leave leave, uh, leave with strong. But yeah, make them let them patrol a bit further. Out. I like to be able to auto these garrison targets as well. So. No chance. That's just me. But what I'm Not saying is, hope. you change the path so you can take advantage of the. The mountains. I think that makes them. Well, you can take a man. But that doesn't help that one anyway for most of them. The one at the bottom still, you can't do that because it's it's in an okay, area. Or that change, the change the location. Change the location. Or I was hoping it would trigger and then it would start moving, but it doesn't. Yeah, the ones that don't move, I don't like. Because that's guaranteed damage. Yeah. So okay, well. I'm glad they released this. It needs a few updates and changes to some of the stuff, but the major content appears to be accurate as far as we can tell. It's good. Yeah. It's basically what we're I'm just happy they did stuff. this. I, I hope they didn't spend too much time on it. Well, I don't care how much their time they spent on it. The fact they've done it is great as far as I'm concerned. It helps a lot of people. Yeah. Um, I would rather it say countermeasure vulnerability, anti-mortar, not just yes. That's more important for things like like uh, 
like this one, where it should say countermeasure vulnerability, because this is a missile. It should countermeasure vulnerability anti missiles only. Oh, well, they just put so countermeasure. Countermeasure recommended MDS free. Just put that. <laughs> yeah, I mean, MDS answer. three. Yeah. Yeah, it was sort of it, it, it was sort of addressed when they they said only these two th things work, right? Come on, let's be you honest. No, they didn't say only this those much two better. work. They said countermeasures such as these two are effective. The sprint is also a countermeasure. Don't don't okay. do it. Don't go there. So if you're reading this, you know, if you're not a strict textualist, well, even if you are, actually, it, it it's not it's not. Clear. I mean, someone could read this and say countermeasures such as these two, these two are effective. It doesn't say only these two. I mean, yeah, the MDS two works, but whatever. Yeah. Okay. All right. So when you go through all of this and you think about, I, I'm still trying to figure out. Like, um, go back because I'm especially this evade part. This is new to me. Um, could you go back down as far as, let's see, um, back to the individual components? And I, I still don't know why they 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 uh, they censored the uh, uh, pawn as well. Do um, you have any ideas on that one? I think it was written before they decided the name, maybe. No, no, or, I don't. or it's somehow auto censored. Let's go troll someone's post and say you're a pawn. Who should we troll? I didn't get banned. <laughs> <laughs> so it's All on. right. Okay. So that's the issue. That's why you can't put the word pawn in. Well, okay. Okay. So. Just delete the, delete the uh, okay so is it like you think they might have figured out on the forum oh. <laughs> <laughs> wait so what? it takes it takes a refresh in order to get this done <laughs> that makes no sense what so hey, yeah, yeah. Refresh the screen and see what comes what's up. Going on. That doesn't make sense. <clears throat> Just because you did an edit. <laughs> now it's gone. Now it's no. What's going on there? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It doesn't censor it till you refresh. Random. <laughs> I don't even know what to say about that. <laughs> like, why would that be on a? Is is that a? A point. So you tell me you can't play chess because that's censored. Is it a derogatory term in some culture I don't know about? Well, in, in chess, it's pawns, isn't it? Yeah, 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 but 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 why? Why would the forum automatically ban the word pawn? Ah, pawns. So you can't say. <laughs> you can say pawns, but not bishop pawn. to pawn three. <laughs> yeah, yeah, there's something. Yeah, um, yeah. yeah. There's some problem going on here. <laughs> That's ridiculous. Talk about oversensitive. That's just nuts, isn't it? Yeah, something's. Um, I've got discussion. Chloe was no comment on it when I looked at it. So. Okay, Peggy, we can sort of hear you. I don't know what, where you're talking to. I'm not sure I, said, you're... I said that on uh, microphone is not the best in this headset. Okay. Um, that when I looked at it, it was discussion closed and no comments were on it. So. Oh, really? There was some editing going on, I think. Ah. Even for the. Um... Because while we talked about it, I put up the post on TFC with the information. So, oh, okay. All right. So, uh, while we get the uh, the further uh, investigation into, uh, you know, 
like pawn is a censored word. I think I'm going to uh, find anybody who wants to join the after show. Um, um, I know you, I know you guys love it when uh, Derpy blows up all his ships, but maybe on Friday. But uh, um, thank you all for showing up. Um, thanks for TSM for uh, you. doing the demos <laughs> and uh, and Derpy for the snow globe and Peglag for the slides. I want to thank you all for showing up and participating. But the link is right there. And uh, how, how, uh, Derpy, how much are the snow globes? Uh, 69 420. <laughs> well, yeah, that's, I, I don't know. Uh, I, I, I'm not really sure how that works. You make it as run as you want, mate. Don't worry. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, at least it's zero. So it's $69.42. Maybe it should be Twitter stock price $54.20. Okay. All right. So, uh, you know, you got all keep that in mind. And uh, we'll see you on Friday when uh, maybe TSM's, uh, you know, gambits are uh, are skull, yep. and we'll That'll see a done. whole different. Yep. We'll see yep. a whole different uh, uh, thing in, in regards to the allocation um, that we'll see. You know, uh, you know, as far as because reload is a big part, and reload is missing at this point. Mm-hmm. So, um, okay, but you have anything for the live show, or are you? Uh, uh, no, nah, not really. Okay. Sounds depressed. He, <laughs> he already sounds exhausted. So, uh, um, all right, we'll be back on Friday. Thanks everybody for showing up, and uh, we'll see you then. Take care. Take it easy.